So, does mental training improve your strength? Um, you would assume that you've got to train to get stronger, wouldn't you really? But this study that was done, they did it on kickboxers who were familiar with weight training and they looked at comparisons between three different groups. So the first group was normal training. So yeah, obviously that. They also did the, the group, which is the important group, which was normal training in combination with mental training. And then they had a control group to obviously compare against as well. So what was the mental training component? So basically what they got them to do, and the, this was a, initially um, done with a, a sports psychologist to really hone in on this, uh, this element. They got them to do um, motivational self-talk. So basically getting themselves really G'd up in terms of positive mindset, in terms of being able to lift heavy, and that obviously helping therefore their training. And they also did separately to the training, mental imagery. And mental imagery is visualization techniques. But what they got them to do versus visualizing in a classic sense, as in visualizing how uh, it would look or how it would look in their eyes. So they're almost imagining they're doing it. They got them to focus on the feel in the muscles, the feel of the training. So like the mind muscle connection type of element. And they got them to do this in combination with the training, like I say, and they looked at the uh, bench press comparison and the squat to see what actually changed. And what they found was fascinating. They found that the mental imagery combined with the resistance training group actually did better for both exercises um, compared to the control group, obviously, but compared to the just physical training alone. The difference was actually very, very significant and certainly not to be, um, not, not to be overlooked. So the bench press improved by 10.8% compared to the normal training group, which is a lot. And the squat group was 10.9%, which again is another significant increase in strength, um, which is really imp imp impressive when you consider that the only difference was the motivational self-talk and the Im imagery of doing it in the feel of how doing it. Um, they also did some other measurements in the study, and these were measurements which were trying to look at maybe reasoning behind these changes. And they looked at a few different things, but one of them was cortisol, which is the stress hormone. And what they actually found was, this is where they felt the difference was. They found cortisol levels were far, far lower in the motivational self-talk and the imagery group compared to the normal training group. So this shows that actually, really thinking about training, feeling the training and all that actually lowers cortisol levels from training because we know that cortisol rises from training. But this seems to improve with regards to when you have the mental training group. And this is very much likely why the difference uh, was achieved, or at least it's hypothesized that that could be why the difference was there. So what it highlights though overall is that realistically, you really are missing a trick if you're not actually thinking about the feel of the training, motivating yourself, geeing yourself off, getting yourself going. You might actually be leaving 10% therefore on the table and you could be training with a 10% further weight and further improvements if you focus a little bit more on this element. So this was really interesting and uh, it highlights that you could actually tap into this yourself. So anyway, that's it for this video and I'll see you next time.